Hello, everyone, to the new episode of What is This Wall? We're going to explain why a specific wall on B Breeze is just terrible and you shouldn't do it. So typical, you're going to see a lot of times happening on ranked is going to be like a smoke like this and a wall like this. Which is, in my eyes, really fucking bad. And you shouldn't do that. And I'm going to explain you why. The main purpose of walls like this is typically to allow your team to retake the site. The thing is that this wall actually does the opposite because it allows your opponents to get a lot of space on the site first, which you cannot benefit from, all right? So first, if you put a smoke like this in a lobby, I'm gonna smash your head with a keyboard. You cannot have a smoke that leaks on a site. You should have it like this. Like this should be your ideal smoke for any smoker, but specifically for Viper, because people will get more affected by DK coming into it, and then they go outside of the smoke into a 50-50 corner, right? When they go like this, you have a 50-50 because you're going to be exposed to left and right. If you're going to go from a smoke like this, then you literally help your opponents because they can go like here, and then this player will never see what is happening. Or the other way around. So you literally help your opponents go out and attack you on site. So that's the first thing. And I see many people still do this shit on a mortal level. And now, when you think about how I play defense on this map. If I have this wall and I want to play retake, then I cannot play in any area over here. Because it makes no sense, this wall doesn't help me at all. So my one key piece of my utility is just meaningless, right? And if I want to play with this, then I need to play backside. But I cannot activate this wall because i have no control of b main which i already committed to off smoke as well so in this case right if you are playing backside and you want to play retake with your the rest of your team you should essentially just play here and that's it that's the only way you can use this setup in this form or like maybe from b tunnel right that's one thing and if you activate this and this at the same time and your opponents will know about it because of a drone an example or a tiger then they go in with more confidence on site because when they go outside of the smoke they cannot be held by those angles all of those angles are negated they have zero impact because this wall is active and it just gets free space and what is even more important right when they go on site and they will actually plant all of this can be used for planting and this retake wall doesn't really matter because then the only thing that matters when it comes to retaking is this smoke because this wall doesn't help you will not activate it if someone will be holding you so the smoke is only really matters if you ever want to do a viper wall for retaking it should be differently put on site and i'll explain exactly why and also one thing that i didn't point out yet is this part of this wall which literally makes holding mid almost impossible this this part of the wall typically would be something that the attackers would do to help them get mid control because then the player from nest cannot hold elbow. He has no control. He has no idea what's going on. They can literally exploit it and go like this or just go straight up here with, with uh, flashes as well. It's really terrible. The only thing that, that this angle helps is if the Viper is playing from, let's say, here and holds this angle. This. This is the only benefit of having this wall in this space. Every other thing that is happening from this wall is actually a detriment for the defenders and helps the attackers more. So if you ever would like to do a retake wall as a Viper on B, if you really want to commit to it, do something like this. Like here. And you can also learn how to make your wall shorter because you can make a specific lineup where your wall will be shorter. If you do a wall like this, this actually helps you a lot when it comes to retaking. You're still going to use only this when they actually go on side. But when they breach from the orb, then you can activate the wall, which will be lower on fuel or almost have no fuel. Right? This is also another aspect. If you have this wall like this, this wall will have no fuel most likely because you will use everything on this orb. So you cannot activate two of the same time because you can't see shit. And if you are there then you're gonna get fucked because of the less amount of angles that the opponents will check. Because if you play like this, right? Opponents have easier, easier control of this space here on site because of the Viper wall, right? That's a very big problem for Viper players. And if you do a wall like this, right? 
that helps you out with retaking the site because the entire site is being covered from those angles. But you can also do a wall like this, which helps even more, more by retaking. Look, if you play like this with this setup, this helps you so much. The entire site is cut off. So if you do a retake, right? If you do a retake and you come from CT and you come from B tunnel, no one can see you. You take the space from everything here, right? So you can go closer to the backside of B and have easier way of killing your opponents because they have no clue what's going on. You can even do the wall, I think, like a little bit better uh, and just put it like this. Sorry. This would be probably even better. Like here. This way. Because then you have even more space and you can abuse this wall for flashes. It's literally one of the best retakes walls that you can do. Either this one or the other angle, which is this one. Because the, de the detrimental thing about this wall here is this space here. This can be used for controlling the spike. But in general, like you should really, really never use this unless you're in a professional team and everyone understands the problem of using this wall and how to counter that. Because this is literally the worst thing that you can do to in solo queue. And at least my playstyle on Breeze, if I play B, I never use my wall. I keep my wall for retakes because typically B is not being attacked by anyone because they see a Viper and if there's a good Viper player, they will just not push it. So you can use then your wall for retaking A. And when you do that, you can just go from mid and do any wall like this. Like this, this, doesn't really matter like if it's clean or not, this, this, it, the only thing that matters is just to cover the cave, so they don't see shit from cave. And that's about it, you can do even stuff like this. This is also decent, when it comes to retaking. But if, an example, you want to play A, you can, you can do, an example, this, this wall here, right? You can do this wall here, then use the smoke, an example, on, uh, holding, holding A, and play from bridge. And then play for retakes. Or even play from here, if you have enough time. I don't think you have enough time to rotate before the round starts. So you just play from from bridge and you throw the smoke over here with a lineup. And that's about it. This ain't a tournament, bro. 1B with a it's marshal. Careful mid one was. Thank you for watching. We're going to see each other during the next video, which will be coming up soon. You know what to do. You, you, you can leave a comment and stuff like that. I'm not going to try to convince you. But if you would like to have a conversation with me, you can leave a comment. I will definitely answer.